Ladies and gentlemen, it is easy to forget that there's a serious side to all this glamour and opulence we have in the room here tonight, and a lot of work goes into producing an event of this scale, but it's done by people with huge hearts. And one of them is a lady who works tirelessly to ensure that this event continues to make a difference to people's lives. And as Hoggy mentioned in his address, if you're in the room last year, the emotion and the passion of this lady certainly shone through, and I'm sure it will again tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please make welcome one of the WA directors of the Duchenne Foundation, Pam Bianchi. Good evening, Minister Haynes, honourable guests, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for coming to support us tonight. Tonight would not have been possible without the generosity of so many supporters, donors, volunteers, those who purchased tables and tickets, those who volunteered their time, skills and energy. Thank you to our sponsors, Hospiquip, Guru's Entertainment, the Esplanade Hotel, the nine businesses that are involved in the bathroom renovation and the pre-dinner drink sponsors the sponsor bonking frog wines. That's a bit of a mouthful. A diagnosis of Duchenne is devastating. No one can, can prepare you for that moment when your hopes and dreams for your son are changed forever. The day you receive the diagnosis is imprinted on your heart and mind. You never forget it. The feelings, the emotions, it never leaves you. It's been said that to have a child with Duchenne is to hold a child made of sand. As time passes, the beautiful child you created begins to break apart and slowly slip through your fingers. There is nothing that, you, that will change the outcome of this disease. You become an unwilling spectator, watching your child's body break down and there is nothing you can do. There is something within us that compels us to keep track of our children's milestones. The first smile, the first tooth, the first steps. Parents of a child with Duchenne also track milestones. Many of these are last, the last time they walked, the last time they could shake a mate's hand, the last time they could actually give a hug. These losses cause constant rehearsals of grief. But if we take a breath and regain our focus, we can learn to create and celebrate different milestones. The reality and history of Duchenne is that it is fatal but that is the history. The future will be different. With the introduction of cardiac and respiratory interventions, the outcome of Duchenne is changing. Our boys are now living to become young men. That in itself is a milestone to be celebrated. We have young men right across the nation achieving their dreams, living with Duchenne, carving out their niche, making their mark and being positive role models for the younger generation. Doug graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree and has developed his own production called Propelled. It's a play about living with Duchenne. He hopes that it will change the perception of people with disabilities. Dominic completed his cert for him websites. He is now in the process of starting his own business. He's also pursuing his love of music and he's, he made his DJ debut at Grooving the Moo in Bunbury last month. Philip is a 15 year old who is constantly pushing the boundaries. He's recently taken up solo sailing through Sailability and received Sailor of the Year Award two weeks ago. He's twice been navigator for his dad in the Italian Connection car rally and has appeared in an advert aimed at changing the perception of disability in schools. Connor has earned a double degree in politics and history and works as a researcher and speechwriter for a local MP. And Hayden is carving a path in stand-up comedy. All young men meeting their challenges head on, living their lives rather than being spectators on the fringes. And meanwhile, the clock is still ticking. Our families are watching the clock, waiting for research, waiting for a breakthrough, waiting with the hope that they will have more time. Thank you.